<laughs> no, don't do that. That's the intro. And outro. Damn, that's cold. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Uh oh. <sighs> Thomas in the big green book. Oh. You don't. You don't. <laughs> he got a green single bird out. No, I just got a green because that's what I had to do. That's a purple color. Green, green, purple, and purple. When I say. Yeah. And you know, you know. Yeah, you facts. This feel nice. I like a lot of fan going. This <laughs> I feel cool, fresh, and all like. Oh, should we do? He recording. No, I'm recording. This nigga. Oh. One, two, three. Then if I can do a uh, multi cam. Don't get hyped, bro. Don't get hyped. Just be chill. Be chill. Be chill. Be chill. Welcome to episode one of uh, Tao Has Conversations. I am Tao, your host, and we have a very special guest here today. Ooh, talk to him, Tommy. Um. Uh, my Arizona brother, my roommate, uh, it's been known for a long time. No, we came up with Detroit. Don't forget Detroit. Is that the time we're going to be on? We, we was on Detroit for a while, remember? <laughs> we, we were. We was in Detroit for a while. Legit. Long story short, this is uh, Fred still. Hi, everybody. It's a lot of people here in the stadium. The stadium? You had to run it out. You said Kevin Hart's at his own. <sighs> Before it was Kevin Hart, it was me. He older than me, huh? About a little bit. Okay, so maybe not. <laughs> So why are we doing this interview? <laughs> <laughs> like you got me up here doing it while I'm here? What are you doing, dog? You, you got some tissue, you know bro? Idea, huh? You got some tissue, bro? There's some tissue right there, dog. We live in the same place. Why are you asking? It's yo, yo, it's a studio, bro. I never been in the studio before, bro. I never been in the studio. I never been here. Like I'm new. James, money, goodbye. Like, all right, that's the first question. That's ignorant as shit. You're not going to say the first question is why are we doing this interview. That's why I really wrote that down, though. Why you write that down? You asked That was me funny. Okay. <laughs> it was funny. It was. Everything is funny when it comes to you. So, put this, um, put this in you. Put my phone on you. I had a good segue, but you kind of messed it up. But uh, when did you decide to be funny? When did I decide to be funny? Yeah, I feel like you, I feel like you made it a choice. Because you said as a kid, you wasn't like, really that funny. Uh, I don't remember being funny as a kid. Okay. I probably didn't get funny if I had to pick a time frame for real. It's like sixth grade, maybe? <laughs> What's his grade? It just sounded good. <laughs> I was just born this way. I mean, I wasn't always funny, but I started finding my funny more. Yeah. By high school, for sure, I was starting to be more funny. I was starting to be fun- more funny years, I should say. Not more That's funny. When you, is that when you get your try? High school? Uh, I don't know. It's, not, it's nothing to really measure it by. People were laughing they were around me. But you know when you funny though. Like we, yeah, we, but we, people we, often like it's not like oh yeah. So I was like at level two in second grade. Were you, funny, were you funny at home? Were you like funny in the household? You just saying jokes and roasting people and shit like a sister. Not roasting right? people, but I was funny. Okay. But you are roasted though, right? Like you do like roast niggas. Like, I, I've been a victim. I talk crap. I don't roast. It's different. It's very different. No. Like some people can stand there and be like, boy, if you don't get that, da, 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 da. you've definitely done that. Like on one or two occasions, I'm not the roaster. No. Like, you couldn't put me in a room of roasters and be like, "Oh, this is the one that roasts out the most." Like that's no, not. No, I definitely, I definitely do. You ever watch a roast video, bro, and see how they yeah. go in? That's not me. I, I've seen you be on some chill shit. that somebody made fun of you. You was like, "If you don't get them best get head uh, things," I've seen you I do. I never did that, bro. I, I, I have. You trying to do I, this? I it's the form of prayer. That's what I'm doing, bro. That's that's for prayer. It's, it's uh uh uh. We had a homie one time that was uh. I don't I ain't gonna say their names, but we had a homie one time and they was like going around the room trying to roast like this shit. They got to me, I ain't say shit. You know they're gonna Self defense about. is different than roasting, bro. Alright, roasting. I was being attacked. I was being attacked, bro. I was being attacked. Y'all, for the record, I don't be doing that. Like, you know what I mean? I have to go to church and stuff and read my Bible. How many people have told you you should be a comedian? Uh, <laughs> Why you think about that? Um, a lot. You ain't got a number? No. 100? I can't say that, man. 90? No, not that many. 50? Not that many people. 25? Probably about that many people. Okay. Yeah. What is your beef with Keanu Reeves? I don't have beef with Keanu Reeves. I really ain't doing that. I have. Joke, joke, I joke, have, have. You have what? Beef with the amount of, the amount of uh, credit. People we ain't telling the truth today, are we? I was like, get, give his, get, hey! We, I have beef with the amount of hype that's behind his acting ability. I actually like Keanu Reeves. I dislike his acting. 
Okay. You feel like uh, well, I don't see. I don't hear a lot of people talk about like he's a good actor. I think that he does good movies. We just conversation before, but like he's yeah, a good okay, movie. I, y'all give that people. He has good movies. He, he's a, he's in great movies. So he has a good agent. Oh, for sure. Whoever's agent is getting yeah, he ain't be getting <laughs> in movies. I'm like, I don't know how he made this role. But then I see some of the roles that he's in. I'm like, that's fitting for him. Like, that's very fitting because like how his, how he kind of is like he's usually kind of like lost or trying to figure some shit out. I'll give you this. I feel like. John Wick is a movie that isn't really that good, but I understand why people like it because of those guns and shooting and shit. Yeah, and all the fighting and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, American like, Standard. Like, I, I don't think I can see Keanu in a movie where he's like, what was that movie Will Smith was in where he had the, um, where he had different, uh, Seven Pounds. No, different things, vis- the different entities or spirits visiting him. Mandela. Um, Ali. <laughs> no, maybe for real. Uh, I am Legend. So, it was, uh, <laughs> ah! Wait, is that what you're talking about? No. Oh. He like at one point he gets visit from death, then he gets visit from love. I know you're talking about. Um, the point that I'm trying to make is whatever uh, that movie is. Shout out to that. You couldn't put Keanu on a movie like that and get and get like, oh my gosh, I really feel this. Like that wouldn't work. Oh uh, no, he had a movie like that. And it, it didn't was, work. No, nigga, it was the one where uh, it was a movie that he had with Sandra Bullock, and it was supposed to be like a lake house or some shit. Show was whack too. Okay. Like stop. Actually, I actually remember the lake house. Oh yeah, he was putting something in the mailbox and then she would get it. Yeah, that is some crazy Amazon there. That is, that's the movie by Amazon. That shit was crazy. Could you imagine? You put it in the mailbox, you open it, and it's there. I used to work at Amazon, so I don't have to imagine. Ooh, <laughs> he's I'm the reason it got there so fast. That's so sadly. <laughs> get your rates up. Can you share a funny story? If you want to have one now, we can like, save it for the end. Yeah, I got I got it's funny. I don't know if it's funny, but I have a story. So one night. I think I told that story though. Um, you probably did. Man. This, is my, this is the first episode. All right, yeah, I told the story. So we was partying one night. Cause a lot of my family don't know the story. Uh, do you want to share it? Yeah. All right, that's fine. We were at uh, my friend Aaron had je- we were pregame at my friend Aaron's place. He had just moved into a new apartment complex. Okay. So it's my first time being there, right? Mm-hmm. So we get there. We all pregame. Da da da. We go out. We party. Everybody gets good and drunk. We come back. Aaron lived there by the 7 Eleven, so I go to the 7 Eleven. I like they go home, so I'm gonna go to 7 Eleven. I'm hungry, I gotta eat something, try to sober up a little bit. Mm-hmm. I go get something to eat, I come back to the apartment. I, I, and I, I leave his apartment, I go to the 7 Eleven, I come back. Now, Aaron lives in a cult, lived in a cul de sac at the time, so it was kind of like a cul de sac. You go in this block, it's like a what? Cul de sac? Cul de sac? Cul de sac, whatever it's called. The circle where it's like the block is like circled out. The block is hot? Yeah, that too. So, um, so I think it was like, yeah, it was like that. And what happened was when I came in, all, obviously it's an apartment complex. All the buildings look the exact, look the cookie cutter, boom, 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 mm-hmm. all the same. I came in and after I was eating something, I started to feel sick. You know, sometimes after you drink and you eat, you start to feel sick. And I'm like, I'm not going to throw up on the cul de sac. I'm going to go behind, like, by, in back of the apartment complex and just do my, handle my business over oh, there. I was right there. there. No, I was, I was asking Matt stuff. So I go down there, toss cookies, if you will. And then I, um, I go back. I go back upstairs. I go in the apartment. I go to sleep on the couch. Okay. Now let me explain something to you guys. It's a college area, college town. Everybody, everybody like so. So again, everything's cookie cutter. And so because everything's so cookie cutter, most of the apartments are, are set all the same way. Mm-hmm. So when I before I left the apartment, my homie, uh, one of my friends, Adonis, he was sleeping on the couch. And I was sleeping on, on the small chair. Mm-hmm. When I went back to the apartment, Adonis got up to the couch to go to the restroom or something. He wasn't on the couch. And the small chair was still there. But since the couch was open, I'm like, shit, I won't go sleep on the couch. I'm tired. Right. So I go to sleep on the couch. Oh, no. I go to sleep on the small chair because I figured he was coming back. So I go to sleep on the small chair. And when I wake up, I wake up to two people talking. And they're like, yo... Do you know who he is? <laughs> I'm like, and I, you know, you hear something, you hear it. I'm like, all right, like right over me. And so, like, do you know who he is? I'm like, what the fuck? What's going on? So they keep repeating themselves. Like, do you know him? Like, no, I don't know him. Do you know him? I don't know him, right? So I finally get up. And I'm like, oh, what's up? I'm like, oh, what's up? Where? I'm like, where's Aaron? Because I'm about to at Aaron's place. And they're like, um, who's Aaron? I'm like, yo, stop playing. I'm like, where's Aaron at? And they was like, what? They're like, they're just playing dumb. Were like, you asking those at the time? No, I'm just waking up from a drunk night, so like I'm like, <laughs> I'm coming, so I can barely see. Like I'm kind of like, okay, I'm groggy. It's early in the morning. Like I'm like, yeah. So I'm like, all right. So I get up, 
I had my my I, when I came in, I took my shoes off by the door and stuff mm. like that and slept or whatever. And they're like both they're going back and forth by not knowing who Aaron is. I'm like, all right. So I go to go to the kitchen to get a cup of water. And I'm like, oh, y'all got nothing to drink in here? I'm like, yo, tell tell Aaron we'll go to the store. Do y'all need anything? And they're like, they go, no. Like, no, we don't need anything. <laughs> I'm like, all right. So I put some shoes on, but I'll be right back. And so at this point, when I leave out, they follow me out. Like, and they're just standing on, at this point, they're on the, they're on the second floor. Because Aaron was on the second floor. All right. So they're on the balcony and they're pointing down to me. And I'm pointing back at them like, all right, I'll see you on a bit. Like, not knowing what's going on. So I start walking. I'm walking down the stairs. And as I'm walking, a cop car randomly, he drives up. He's turning around. No sirens. He's just turning. Turning. It's a cul-de-sac, mind you. So he's turning like this, right? So he gets out the car. And I see him pull up. I'm like, morning. And I'm still about to walk off to the, the 7-Eleven. So at this point, I, I look, I'm looking, I'm trying to figure out where the cop is going, like where he's going for. So I look, turn around, I don't see anybody, and I see the boys still looking at, pointing at me like this. So I'm like, all right, I already said bye, like what, you, what more do you want or whatever? So the cop is like, hey, let me, uh, can I see your ID? I'm like, yeah. He's like, do you live here? First he asked me, do you live here? I was like, no, my homie Aaron lives here. And he was like, he lives here. I was like, yeah, he lives. And I went to go point to where the apartment was. <laughs> now as I'm pointing towards where the apartment was, I realized that the building that I'm pointing at and the building I'm coming from are not the same. And I was like, oh. <laughs> the cop was like, let me see some ID. So I give the cop my ID. He like ran my numbers. He said, okay, you don't have any priors. And I'm like, you don't have any priors. <laughs> and they was like, and they like, oh, what I didn't tell you was the whole time I was talking to two guys. One thing that made it crazy was as I'm in the apartment, one of them is on the phone the entire time. Yeah. And he's repeating something to somebody else that I'm saying. So I'm like, why is he going to like, they're going too far with this prank. The whole time. That's what made it crazy. So I'm like, okay, they're really going too far with this prank. So I'm like, all right. So cop basically was like, um, because he ended up hanging up the phone. And then when he got outside, he hung up the phone and he was pointing down at me like this. And I was like, all right. So I'm pointing back up. I'm like, all right, see you. And the cop pulled up, got me. Basically, he was like, all right, let me see your ID. I check his, he checks my ID. I showed myself. He's like, you don't have any priors. Da, 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 da. And he was like, he didn't take, he didn't take anything. Nothing. He just went to sleep or whatever. <laughs> and dude was like, the cop was at this point. The cop, uh, he was like, well, then you're free to go. So I like go to the store, like I was going to. And when I come back, he's still up there talking to him. And at both, as I'm coming back, I'm coming back to the apartment, or whatever. I hear him after. He's still there. He's still talking to him. Like this happens. Apparently, like he's this happens all the time. Like how do you get into the house? Though, like he did break in and stuff. And they were like, no. And they like, how did he get in? He couldn't just walk into the house. Yeah, he ain't picked the shit. Yeah, they like, he, could, he ain't picked the house. Like, how did he get in? And they was just like, oh, he the door was unlocked. So technically, y'all fought a little bit. It's 50-50. <laughs> no, it was my fault for not knowing where I was going. Because I just knew the cop yeah, was me. But, like, lock your door. Yeah, it was crazy, bro. It was real bad. It, I mean, I say exactly the same. Look, exactly the same. And they had just moved in. Aaron had just moved in. So they still had boxes. They still they had the one chair, the big chair. Because, again, it's so cookie cutter. You can't design it any other way. Everything was the same down to the TV. Yeah, doppelganger uh, apartment. Bro, I swear to you, bro, it was wow. I'm sitting there, okay, it's like, yo, do you, they, cause they're literally asking, like, do you know him? Do you know him? And at one point I go, you know it's me, it's the boy Fred. You know it's me, it's the boy Fred. And he was like, who, who? he keeps saying, it's the boy Fred, it's the boy Fred. And he's on the, the whole Wait, time. Why? No, they're like Indian. He was like Indian dudes. <laughs> Fast forward, maybe a couple months later, I see these two girls at the club. I see both, cause they come up to me, and I'm like, oh, and I was like, you remember us? And I was like, the couch! And it was like, yeah! So we went and got drinks and stuff. It was fun. It was a good time. It was a wild night. That was... How famous are you? How famous am I? I'm, lo- I'm not famous. I am... I was club famous. Like, you know, you're known in. Like, I, some people some people would see me and be like, oh, that's... Yeah. That's that's him or whatever. Hey, how you doing? Da, da, da. But I wasn't famous. Didn't you tell me story how you had... Uh, you, you had a video of yourself on some girl's phone because like, you were just such a, uh, a hoot, as you said. It wasn't a video, it was a picture. It was okay. pictures, but yes, that's true. Video's I was in Skyzone, we was in Old Town. The video sounds crazy, huh? Yeah, the video sounds crazy. <laughs> I was like, mm. A picture ain't no better without description. You might want to We were at a, a place in Old Town. I that somebody have a photo of me and a video of me. Yeah, okay. We was in a video, we was in a, a picture. I was in Old Town with Aaron one night, and there was this, um, these two ladies we had been talking to on there, chatting, laughing. Mm-hmm. Like, laughing, laughing, laughing. On brand. And so, uh, and one of them had this real crazy, like, hot, it was real funny laugh. This mm-hmm. real funny laugh, whatever. So she was, it was real distinct. Can you, can you imitate the laugh, please? You gotta put, like, you take a pterodactyl, and then you just pour a little bit of water to the throat. Right, go ahead and continue, dog. And so, <laughs> it was like that. And so, um, 
we have had them laughing, whatever, whatever, at the at the spot, mm-hmm. and then um, they end up leaving. I think we go out that night. I don't think they came with us. But then um, fast forward, I'm maybe like two years later or something. We're back in the old time doing our thing, and uh, they approached me while we were at the club. They was like, "Hey, we know you," and I was like, "Hey, like I." This happens often enough for me to just go with it, but not not enough for me to be like, I don't really know how to. You ain't saying no autographs. Yeah, I just oh hey, da da da. It's like. This isn't you? And then she like went through her phone, flip, 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 flip. And she said, that's not you. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah. And so then they took another picture with me, whatever, whatever. And I told him, I was like, Aaron's here, da, da, da. They was like, who? And I was like, oh, yeah, huh? I didn't even remember you, but not him. Because he was there, but he wasn't like doing the dumb shit. He was just there enjoying the show. And so, yeah, so that, that has happened to me. I've had ever ran into before. I got ran into Vegas. We were at a, that was only because the night before we was in Vegas, we was partying. And Vegas, and, never mind, bro, you got it. It was the one night, it was like a, because like, that time Aaron was there too. We went to Vegas, we was dancing and just having fun. Mm-hmm. And like the very next morning, we were like going through the mall. And people was like, oh, that's them for last night. And I was like, all right. That's it. Uh-huh. So yes or no? Why are we friends? I got this question from uh, Simon Snick. We are friends. It started off because of unity. Like just in the sense of like, yo, I'm black, you black. And we out here in the desert together, like, you know what I mean? That's we go right. from cities and in this desert now. So I was like, what's up? And then from there, I think our friendship just grew. We, went, we had a lot of things in common. We both went to the same school. Mm-hmm. Both went to the same school at the same time. Um, we had very similar friends. And we, and we both from Detroit. Yeah, I'm de- from Detroit on the weekends. I'm from Detroit on the weekends. Yeah. But no, uh, so that's how it started. And then from there, it just was a... Just rocking with you heavy, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, just always wanting to see the best for each other and whatnot, help each other along and stuff, so... And that's kind of how the friendship just grew. Real shit, real shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to remember that Kanye West line on our last call. Real friends? Oh, no. No, uh, close. But no, he was like, uh... Fuck, you foremost make me do this shit. It's on that song. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> it's on that song. But he was like, yo, you a real soulful... He said, like, you a real, real, real soulful dude. I was gonna say that, but... Oh. <laughs> Uh, I remember you was conflicted or it's a hot girl summer. Don't answer that. Oh, um, I was conflicted on why it's a hot girl summer. A lot of these girls ain't on. Mm-hmm. Huh? Huh? Don't worry about it. Okay. Um, how often do you read? Now? Yeah, uh, I don't read as much as I used to. Let's see. Now, I might, if anything, I'm reading like maybe a few pages of a book here and there. It's real scarce. Where before it was like, a constant thing. I don't read yeah. as much as I used to. In fact, I do audiobooks more than I do. I got onto all audiobooks because of you, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I do audiobooks way more than I actually read books. I'll read like articles online. I, I do more reading of articles online and stuff like that, whether it be work related or just something I saw that this interesting title and I had to read more to find out more. I might do that, but it's not like I used to. Like before, it was like, oh yeah, I'm always reading books. I still have a bunch of books I have to go through by the end of the year. Yeah. <laughs> Who is Harry? Who is Harry? Pro Spider-Man? No, Harry. Your childhood friend? From Philly? I don't know Harry. You do. Tell me who Harry is. I don't know. I'll make some shit up. I don't know uh, who Harry. <laughs> Try to have a narrower moment with no one to know some actual facts. Oh. Yeah. Why are we friends? You asked me and me asked you. Why are we friends? Uh, it's kind of like what you said. So, uh... <laughs> That's co- kind of like what you say. You like, okay. Uh, camaraderie of uh, both of us being black. Uh, we get along. As far as like both of us have uh, kind of like similar morals, we also uh, gravitate towards the same thing, and like we tolerate each other's uh, ignorance. If you <laughs> <Man, look. laughs> like, we pretty. I feel like we're pretty good about that. About being like matching you know the ignorance. Yeah, that's a real. That's a because like thing. even if like I'm in the mood for it, it's like you know what he I get his shit off cool, and when I'm in my zone, like they let him get his shit. Yeah. I did the same thing ten minutes ago, and it, it, often enough we both like just basically on the same like type of time. Same vibe. Yeah. Yes. I and can I, agree with that. I think, I think that's priceless a lot of times. Because a lot of times, like, uh, not everybody be on the same type of wavelength and shit. Yeah, especially yeah. as adults. It's, it's very it's very rare that <laughs> you meet somebody as an adult and remain friends with them for as long as you do. As that's true. <laughs> Excuse me. Because you got to remember, I met you back in 2007, 2006? Yeah, the great 08, yeah. And the great 08 was old. No, I met you before that, you know. <laughs> I met you before <laughs> that. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Before that, though, no, yeah, I remember we asked you that not so long ago. It was like we know each other for more than like 10 years, yeah. yeah. 2000, it, we met in like 2007, I think. Damn, yes, no, 
huh? Yes. I'm already in 06. I'm here in 07. Yup. Damn. Yup. Because I was already out here in 06. So in September. So I didn't really know you like that until like, I think 07 is when I think I started. 07, oh, <laughs> being stupid. But no, 08 was like, we're back. Sometimes like when we actually met. Yeah, when we actually was like, fish like, boom, yeah. boom. Yeah, we started, started coming over more and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Because I was like, well, damn. Yeah. But yeah As a matter of fact, yeah. Yeah. Because remember, now we go back to like, was it Hayden's place? All the way back on Hardy? Man. I don't think it's called that anymore. I went there no, all that long ago. They changed their name a couple times since then. Yeah. Well, even the place, the place after that, uh, uh, Monarch, they changed that a couple times too. The one near Walmart? No, you too far down. No. I'm talking about the one nearby. Oh, you smell like the Arizona Mills? Yeah, 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 yeah. There. Damn, Man. That was his place. That was probably the most ghetto shit. That shit wasn't that, wasn't that ghetto, but that was kind of wild of having that. Because uh, walking that uh, that dirt with the river next to us was kind of scary. Hmm? Canal. <laughs> canal. Mm-hmm. That's facts. Mm-hmm. That canal. Walking, walking with that canal to, to the left of us, it's kind of wild. The place with the dirt and the water. You like, oh, uh, <laughs> okay. Because a few times I imagine like some type of like swamp thing trying to grab somebody and pull into the water. <laughs> I was like, yo, we get yanked, bro. And they, it's a wrap. Because no one's going to hear you like that. Nah. You're already in the water. And you know I can't swim, so. Dang, yeah. It's a wrap. When do you want to learn to swim? Huh? How, when do you want to learn to swim? Or do you plan? I, I, I do plan on learning to swim. Uh, when? I don't know. But if it is, I want to do it. It's like, for sure. For sure. That's for sure, for sure. For sure, for sure. Uh, do, you miss, do you miss doing the podcast? Yes and no. Um, you huh? Damn. What? You don't miss it? You say yes and no. I mean, no. It gives you more time to do other creative things. And I think that's what's more important. Is you for you. For both of us, we decided to do something else. We could do something else. We could do something else during the podcast too. Yeah, but we had already ran that one like yeah. hardcore, so it would be a matter of rebranding. Like if we was to do it again, we'd have to like rebrand it. No, we wouldn't. Yes, we would. Why? We, car, when we first started the podcast. We first started the podcast. It was called Cleaning Dishes, and it was about us talking about conversations where we was doing our dishes and just having. That's mm-hmm. how we got the names. How we was doing it. Facts. And then at some point, we changed it to movies. We did. So we, we cut, completely shows. shifted the whole dynamic of what it was about. I was just picked that that up. So at that point, I think, and then we kind of was just like, I don't know if I like watching these movies talking about them. And then just things just happened. Like, I think it ran its course, and I think I don't miss doing that podcast, but I do miss doing podcasting. Does that I, make sense? I'm glad no one of this was in type of way. As long as we know, we know. That's ignorant shit, but no. Uh, like I thought about doing it again. But if we was going to do movie things, call it Real Friends, R E E L, like movie reels. And it was. I don't get it. Of course not. That's why I came. Hey, we gotta fight. What? <laughs> don't say, don't say. Of course not. I was agreeing with you. And hey, she's one of my last questions. Uh, how slow are you? I think it's only my. Uh, I think it's only my, my question. Um, I'm like, I'm in between red light, yellow light. <laughs> Ooh, what? <laughs> you see a slow one when to get that, exactly. No, I think that's Episode the, one of the, that's <laughs> the end of my questions, though. It's the end of my answers. That's, <laughs> that's real ignorant. You're not going to do that swear as a podcast. I mean, sometimes it's necessary. No, no not yeah. in that situation. I mean, I'm on a tour, bro. You got to be done. You want a world tour. <laughs> that's sadly. <laughs> that like, bro, I got to go. I'm on a tour. Hit you with the Rick Ross. I'm going to go to his bathroom. No that was that. wild. <laughs> that was wild. He could be like, I got to go. I do at times. I do. What What did you? Cause mind you, all I, all of it fell on you. So we're like, like I don't like I don't like saying that, but like it did. You did the editing and pro, pro production. That's why I was like producer, producing, producer, producing. What aspect do you miss? And what aspect are you like? You kind of glad you're done with it. <laughs> Damn. Uh, there's nothing that I feel like I'm glad I'm done with. I feel all like, of it. I heard you. <laughs> what? You a hater, bro. You a hater, bro. Uh, cause I enjoy doing all of it. Um, I, I, I I doing all of it. Uh, it was hard. Uh, I was gonna say something stupid, but I definitely forgot I got it serious. Uh, it was hard, but uh, I just wish that <laughs> I wish I had better uh direction of what 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 like what what was making us successful. I, I feel bad about that. Like it didn't hit uh the pinnacles I plan to reach. Mm, what were the pinnacles you plan to reach? Uh, Drake didn't have an answer for that. That was a Drake line. But I meant, I meant that, though. No, it was a Drake line, too. But I still got my Grammy speech. Because I ain't just saying that this thing was a plan to reach. That's how, that's how the whole thing goes. But yeah. Yeah, I ain't myself. Um, 
thing just busted all over. When was the last you time? You know you're doing a lot right now, right? You know you're doing hey, a lot. Hey, look! you going to say, damn, that pen just busted all over me. That's not crazy. When was the last time you thought to yourself this saying it? What, with life? This is in general. You was at work and you was like, yo, this ain't it. <laughs> like, it actually wasn't at work. I was at home. <laughs> what? I was at home. Uh, I was... I, f- I forget what it was. I had planned to do something... I don't remember exactly what I was doing. I just remember I planned to do something. I ended up not doing it because I just didn't want to leave the house. <laughs> and I was like, you probably should have did that. So I forgot. It wasn't something important, but it was something I probably should have just done just for the sake of doing oh, it. You could, you could have done it if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, and I just didn't do it. I remember being like, instead you decided to sit in the house and not do shit. And I remember, and that's what I felt like. This ain't it. Like, you sat in the house. Like, oh. <laughs> it was like a long, I think I had like a long ass weekend and I sat in the house all weekend. Like, it was like a long weekend. So, it's like two days. Not so I went on weekends were like, oh, you got days off type shit. Not even, nothing. Oh, I like, like this weekend, as a matter of fact. Yeah, like this weekend's three days. It was like long. I think it was off till like Tuesday or some shit. So I was going for like, it's like we had half day. Whatever it was, we was off. Like we got out at like 12 that day from work. So okay. I had like four days and a half. And I said, I didn't do shit. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Like, I don't think I left the house to get groceries. I may open the door like once. What was the time you went to the grocery store? It's been a minute. You with the ice cream. I went to get ice cream, yeah. The Florida, I, when I go to the grocery store, anytime when I go to the store anymore, usually... I run into Target. <laughs> no, I run into Target. That's how they be there, like Target. The girls walk like this. As they walk, cause they got the baskets on both their arms. They try to hold them up. <laughs> That's how they be there. Like, <laughs> and they little Starbucks. That camera, hella, hella crooked. It's like hella crooked. It's, it's like crooked. this. Yeah, it's like that's yeah, like crooked. Make my right? headline look straight. That's crazy. Um, they uh, they uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is like you stupid, bro. No, um, I went to Target for something. Any morning I go in the store, usually it's like the, it's a quick grab. I had to get something from Target for like an item or something. Mm-hmm. Or I had to go to um, Walmart. Every now and then I might run to a Walmart. I like how like you kind of bougie, but you're also humble because you went to Walmart. But Target is like... I went to Target first. Target didn't have a I know. So I mean, like... Walmart. I see yeah. you like... <laughs> I'm sorry, calling you Esquire. Yeah, yeah. Esquire. That's Alfred J. Still Esquire. That's some Target shit. Like, hey, yo, I'm going to Target. I'm going to go ahead and buy a... Fancy blue foods. <laughs> Fuzzy slippers and loofers. No, but, um... <laughs> yeah, no, I don't go to the grocery store a lot of that anymore. I just order my shit off the Instacart. That shit is a lifesaver, bro. Luxury? I wish it was me. It could be you. But I'm not just penitentiary. So, uh... That's fair enough. That's fair enough. How can I ask you how can you read? Damn, man. That's me about it. What's the last book you read? I was reading that one book. Uh, okay, I was reading yeah. Meditations. And I was reading that other book about uh, how black people were like Jesus. around the world. Before. Oh. Huh. It's funny because you wasn't being funny. <laughs> 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 it's basically a book about how uh, Christopher Columbus met black people before like slavery. Like black people were like in different places before like we were like slaves and shit. If that makes sense. Like we weren't just in Africa. Like we. Mm-hmm. Sailed out when we like uh, we had expeditions as well, but I ain't gonna hold you. It's a it's a tough read. I could have fallen asleep, and you know how we got how we fall asleep, bro. Anymore when I read get books that are tough reads, I just be like, you know what, I'm gonna take the L and just get that audible job. <laughs> I just get the audible because some books are just like this is like this one book. It's um what did I grab and I tried to read it and I was like, oh no, I'm just gonna be dumb on this one. I don't know. It was I forget what the book was. But it was just a hard read, like the way it was the way they spoke mm-hmm. and the way the person the way the person. I guess wrote the I don't know. It's about Freddie Love, which it's not a hard read, but depending on when when you're reading it, it can be like yo, like yeah, that's one of them. That's yeah. that's when you gotta kind of be okay. Read this one, read this chapter or whatever, and be done with it for a little bit. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll read that in the morning while I was catching the bus because like eight o'clock. Not gonna happen. Yeah, nah. Uh, I can't read a book, and then there's one I audio booked, and I was like, maybe I should get the real book because this dude reading it sucks. Like, and that's it's not to say they suck. Like the book itself is good, but the person just reading it is just like. Not bring it like yeah no I feel you and so my, one of my favorite audio books is gonna be uh Lawrence Fishburne when he did uh, my boy Mike. let's go that's so like, bad that kind of fucked me up a little bit because when he when he reads it I'm like bro like what what, what was he like on Max like, bro bro but Denzel killed it don't get me wrong but the way he moved about it it was like yo like dang yeah no he it definitely brings a life to the book that yeah and then you get the and then you picture. On top of that, you get the picture of the movie in your head too. Yeah. So you're literally just playing this movie. Man. It's like a real life movie. 
It, it's it's so cool. It is super cool. When did you watch other Malcolm X? I didn't watch that until like I was like, and I think the first time I watched it was here. No, I was definitely much younger when I watched it. Oh, yeah, that's how I figured. Oh, I, I I couldn't tell you how young I was, but it was way before I came out to Arizona. Yeah. Yeah, way before I came out to Arizona. Uh, I couldn't tell you how old I was though. I remember uh, we had a. We had a movie on VHS that had an X on. I think it was X Files, not Michael Mack, So, <laughs> hey yo, you bugging? Hey, hey, hey! Yeah, the X on it. Yeah, it was different. Was there a dot com on the end of it? Like that's crazy. I'm sorry. I had X's all around the box. Mm, no, oh no! It's Pocahontas look a little different. It's like, <laughs> that's crazy. You don't drink alcohol anymore. Why is that? Uh, living the lifestyle I'm living, like I don't do a lot of working out and stuff, and so like when you don't do a lot of working out and you're not taking care of yourself the best, the least you can do is not put more poison in. So I ain't gonna lie, the way you started that, it's like the cold. He <laughs> was like, I'm working out and stuff. I was like, damn. I'm like, it's fact it just sounded bad. Cause look, we live the lifestyle I'm living. I was like, oh, this nigga living a wild lifestyle. I, I was like, I was, I was living a wild lifestyle at one point. I was drinking a lot and partying and stuff, and then. The partying stopped, so the drinking stopped. <laughs> like, I don't, I, don't got a, I don't got a reason to drink. So what's the reason to drink? Being broke? Go to Scottsdale, they give you a reason. No, they just give me a big-ass bill at the end. I was saving mad money not drinking, bro. I was like, <laughs> Boy, I saved so much money. I think the last time I bought wine was to cook with. That was recently. That was it. That was the that, last uh, one. I need some of That white wine. That one, one that's yeah. up there now. I bought that the cushion. That empty. I poured it out. I I didn't drink it. That's kind of nuts. But I poured it out. It was flat. How you know it was flat? Cause I drank it before. Ah. I had a cup and I was ah. like. Ah. Mm. You had to drink in your two set. No, I didn't have one step. Oh. Wow. Well, you had that much of it. You was flat. I was flat. I was like I was flat footed. Damn. Oh, you flat footed off the flat drink. Yeah. I, I see how you think. Okay, I see it, dog. No, nah, man. That's all the questions I got, really. Um, I ain't want to do a soul tape. Why not? Because we did soul tapes, bro. We got to rebrand it. Oh, if you rebrand it, that means you go hold new soul tapes. That ain't what Fabulous did. And you're not fabulous. I forgot about that part. Yeah, there you go. But your work is. Let's go, bro. Hey, that's a bar. <laughs> that's a fucking bar. I know how to get him, bro. <laughs> He's like, yes. <laughs> You was done. He's, He's like, like hey. you guys girls be filming me, y'all get like. <laughs> they tell me I'm pretty again. You be like, ooh. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you ever tell the old girl she was pretty? Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> what? I did. I, I did. did. I, remember, I remember who I said that too. But no, she. She's older than me by like 10 years. I took me a picture of her or whatever, and that is this thing where like. It's not a thing. I just like if I see that picture, I take it. I was like, "Oh, you look, you look good in that picture." I said, "I said she's like, uh, I think I said she's like Nina Long or some shit, bro." She was guest up on that for days. It was to the point my coworker was like, "Hey, why you tell her that?" I was like, "What? <laughs> why you lie to that girl like that?" Yeah, oh, that's not wrong. Tell somebody that. Like, why you tell her? Why you tell her that bold face lie? I was like, "Oh, she look good." Damn. No, nah, he, he he was mad. He was annoyed. He was like, like "She'll be going right here talking about, oh, I know I look good." Yep, she come in here wearing the knee along fit from fucking uh, Love Jones. Right? She wasn't built like that. I don't think. I hope not. But she was great. She was good people. Though. She was playing. I don't think there's anything wrong with telling, giving compliments to people, especially if you well, you got to mean them though. I I get delusional compliments. I'm not gonna lie. I don't give delusional compliments. Not for sure. Like if I told a girl who I who wasn't. Physically attractive that she was, I probably would have said the word she was pretty, hmm. but I would have used some other adjective. No, like, it would. Huh? Just say something in Spanish, bro. Like, yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Just say some Spanish shit to her. What does that mean? I mean, it means it look good. Like, yeah, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he said I'm Theo. Oh, he said I'm Theo. <laughs> He said it me fire. You like, oh, oh, yeah, that's what it made me fire. Hey, you should have Google Translator, mom. <laughs> don't get that. You don't need that. No, you need, they need you need. You're a beautiful woman. You don't need no app to tell you how you look. It's like, <laughs> so you're right. I guess. Like, damn. A lot of people say that, uh, 
we are uh, their favorite duo. More so because of you. Mm, but a duo is two people, so for their favorites for a reason. I think that like you carry majority of the weight, so it's like 70. Oh, a fat joke! Oh my god! <laughs> Hang on, that's a good one. I couldn't say shit. I was just like... Oh, uh, damn, he got me on that one. <laughs> oh, hell. Nico, he ain't hold that. Damn, hold this L, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This shit heavy. Let me. I got the lot. No, I'm playing hard. Um, no, I think. I can see why people say that. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, as, as us being really good friends, mm-hmm. brothers, if you will, right? Facts. And then on top of that, you have this podcast where, you, where you, or you're, we were doing podcasting at the time and stuff like that. There was just a lot of chemistry there. So, I don't know why that's funny. I'm trying to think about that. I'm a Detroit nigga, bro. So, like, uh, there was an artist came named Kim. His first album was Chemistry. And so, we said Chemistry, I thought about Kim. <laughs> Go ahead, dog. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just different, dog. I'm just different. Mm-hmm. Remember you was asking me how slow I was? I want to take this time to ask you the same question. We got interview and me interviewing you, dog. Ah, this interview going to be different. I'm going to have some eight block charts on nah, here. I, 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 <laughs> what does this look like to you? <laughs> <laughs> I like tear drops from my meeting. Like, I got it. I think it's just a circle on here. Like, oh shit. <laughs> Alright, cataracts. It's the cataracts. That, that was a group. They did music. Really? Oh, it don't work the same when you do it, huh? I didn't know. I didn't oh, know. I didn't know. Oh. Oh. I didn't know. Like, I didn't know. Whoop de doo. <laughs> no. Hold them up, though. Huh? I'm with them up. But no, our, our dynamic duo. Yeah, we're a dynamic duo. I think I think that's a fair thing to say in real life. Like, yeah. I would say I'm Jordan and you Pippin because I have skin tones, but I don't want you to be like the whole old thing. Oh, no. That, that's <laughs> fine. Because cool, Pippin was doing good. No, no, no. Pippin was still Pippin. It depends on who you Pippin. I said Pippin. Pippin was Pippin. Like, Pippin was doing his thing. Damn. So I, <laughs> he was doing his thing. You know he was. I, mean? I agree. I think that's fair. But you said you was whole and I was who? That's not how I meant it, though. Bro, what did you say, though? What did you say, though? I think I said you was Emory or some shit. Because in my mind, I thought they was like, yo. I think, and Nigga, they, no. They, no, they, no, 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 I ever go to a concert. I want to see Emory. I ain't never not one in my life. Do, I can't wait to see Emory. He doesn't do uh, music like that, but he does music like, behind the scenes. Like, I don't want to see Emory. Yeah, I, I ain't know. behind the scenes at all. You want behind the I'm scenes of me. I'm Emory. Yeah, but you didn't give me Jay Z. He was like, no, you didn't give us Jay. Because in context, what I was saying at the time, mm-hmm. it was different. Mm-hmm. And like you just took, you took, <laughs> took a different direction. That was crazy. That might be how Emory reacted. We don't know. We none of us know Emory. We know Jay though. Emory did it. Oh. We're going to go ahead. we go ahead in this episode. Uh, you are stupid. What did I do? You are stupid. What did I do? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. He said, edit, 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 edit. Don't there. No, don't do that. That's the intro. And outro. Damn, that's cold. <laughs> hey. This is Tom. Uh, damn, what's my name? I'll go, I'll go by Tom. When I'm in my artist mode, I'll go by Tom. So, Ooh, this is. Ooh, it's shorter to write, so it's easy to sign. Yeah, yeah that's, my, that's my favorite signature. Have you ever watched art of, you practice it? Yeah. What does it look like? Let me see. <laughs> Let's see. So my homie Estrus, you know Estrus. Yeah, I know Estrus. Shout out to Estrus. I ain't seen that boy or heard that boy in a long time. He got kids. He had grown ass man so on that boy. He, he's the boy though. Yep. Boy. Uh, long time ago, I had told him, uh. Let's see, I see him. Okay. Thanks. Then what'd you fuck with? Yeah. He was like, he's looking at my signature, it was like my full name, whatever. And he was like, oh, it should look terrible. And I was like, Hey, dog. He <laughs> was like, no, I'm telling you, I love it. You got you to gotta fix that. He make you hate your name? Like, fuck my name. And he was like, he's like, this right there ain't it. I was like, oh. dang, dog. Like, what did I do to you? He's like, the hate your name after that. I don't even like the way it looked no more. And his like, offense, though, later on, I kind of was like, yeah, he right. And after I saw his, because he, uh, he draws. And so, like, once I saw his, I was like, yeah, I'm going to practice on mine. Some people, like, draw a thing. And then, like, does he draw a thing for his no, signature? If I remember, I think it was like... It's like it's his name, of course. I think the way he does it, it's like a uh, close, like calligraphy a little bit. Ooh, yeah. okay. It's pretty solid. I like that a lot. He got his mono one. He goes doo, 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 nah. doo, doo, My doo, homie doo. Uh, Adrian, I think I think he essentially like two S's, and I was like, all right, if that's your sig. Yeah, right. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like your signature is your signature, bro. As long as you comfortable with it, it is what it is. 
So I learned a long time ago that black people used to, because they couldn't read and write, and so if they used to do face entries, they used to put X's. So it was a, it was a great, good time period. I was just doing that. I was in my teens, though. I didn't know no better. I was in my teens. Teens or 20s? Early 20s. Mid, late 20s. Sorry, you an adult. Early 30s. You Okay, no, <laughs> no. No, you are an adult. I would definitely hand in a paper bag like do another one. <laughs> no, it was, it was my uh, teens. I was like, teens and, uh, if anything, early 20s. I was just like doing an X. Yeah, man. I don't know, dog. I don't know. I just... It felt like it was, it was something right to do. <laughs> it was like 41 minutes. What? 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 Putting an X because you couldn't read it right? No, I could read it right, but like during sleep... Like, you got to fight. What <laughs> you mean? No, during sleep, that's what they did. They couldn't read it right, so they just did X's. And I was like, oh, you yeah, actually, I can be, I can be a signature? So I just picked it up. And then later on, they told him, like, you didn't sign your name. I put it right there, boss. And they was like, no, you didn't. I was in a cast of the Green Mile. This is episode one of my best friend here, uh, Fred. One of my best friends, at least. Uh, What's the title? Bestie? We'll go with that. That's it. We'll figure it out. Yeah. You'll, fi- you'll figure it out. That's your show. Damn, it is, huh? Yeah, this your show. You run this show. I should have moved all this. Why? It's just in no way. It's, not even, it's not even like, uh, huh? Cozy tapes. It's not even like... It ain't, it ain't folded, dog. <laughs> it's just like, yeah! I'm like, you know? He said we're going to leave it in its natural state. That's it was what they have, this or dirty ass clothes? Or clean clothes that we just didn't fold up? It'd be cool if you had clean clothes and we just folded clothes. That could have been clean dishes. <laughs> clean folding laundry? Airing out your laundry? I mean, that's kind of what you was doing. That'd be a hella good uh, gossip, uh, what you want to call it? Airing out your laundry, just do the basket of laundry yeah. and shit. But you- then we get like a dirty ass t shirt, you be like, oh, Yeah, so you got some something with some skin marks on it, you be like, ooh. <laughs> Tell them I had skin mark in my drawers. I haven't had skin mark in ages. Let's be for real. Come on, now. I don't. I would do between dude wipes and wiping good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have I don't have, You got a whole bidet, so you better not be at the skin mark. Sure, the uh, fart that shit was too crazy. I for Episode sure. one of I for sure just been like Tao Talks was this called? Uh Tao has conversations. Tao has conversations. Yes. Um with his bestie. That's me. No, wait, I'm like this on the joke. Me. They gonna put up for the cake pop girls. Pop. Um, I think it's a heart. Yeah, it is it's a heart. <laughs> <laughs> you got a good old laugh, huh? God's like <laughs> You a fat ass heart, bro. That's it, Nasi. Nasi. Nasi.